Okay, so Miss Bailey here. I'm going to go over day 21 creative writing types of characters. Um, so please watch the video inside the form and answer the questions in preparation for tomorrow's class. Okay, if you need to find this assignment, if I go just go to second period, if you're doing it today, uh, Monday, May 18th, it's the first thing posted. Or if you're doing it at a later date, you want to come into the stream here and you want to find quarter four, week five, creative writing, character development. Okay, so let's get going on the form here. So type in your name. I'm Miss Bailey. And I'm in class two, seven two right now. Next. Okay, so we are going to uh, watch the video and answer the questions. Here's the video to watch. It says the main character, I'm going to read the questions just so I know what I'm listening for as I'm watching. The main character of a story is the protagonist, antagonist. The person or character who goes against the main character is the protagonist, antagonist. A character that experiences change or learns a lesson throughout the story is a dynamic character, static character. A character who does not change throughout the story is a dynamic character, static character. A character who shows realistic emotions and is well developed is a round character, a flat character. A character who is one dimensional and shows no emotional depth is a round character, a flat character. Name one protagonist in any story you have read or show you have watched. Okay. Name one antagonist in any story you have read or show you have watched. All right. We're ready to play the video. As we read, we come across many different kinds of characters. Today we're going to be learning to recognize the different types of characters in fiction. A character can be either a protagonist or an antagonist. They can be either dynamic or static. They can be either round or flat. So let's learn how to differentiate all these different types of characters. The protagonist is the main character in the story. For example, Spider-Man in the Spider-Man comic book series. Or the boy in the boy who cried wolf. Or of course, Cinderella in the fairy tale Cinderella. The protagonist can be a good character, but this is not always the case. As in Walter White of Breaking Bad, or Ebenezer Scrooge in Charles Dickens, A Christmas Carol. Try to think of other protagonists that aren't necessarily good characters. The character or group of characters that stands against the protagonist is referred to as the antagonist. For example, the wolf in The Boy Who Cried Wolf or The Wicked Stepmother in Cinderella. The antagonist is usually considered to be bad, but this is not always the case. Sometimes the antagonist simply has something to learn. A dynamic character is a character that experiences some type of important inner change. A character that experiences inner growth or learns an important lesson is said to be a dynamic character. A static character is a character that changes very little throughout a story. They tend to learn no important lessons, nor make any significant changes, such as a schoolyard bully or an evil villain who don't learn the errors of their ways. Round characters are often well-developed, lifelike characters with realistic emotions, conflicting feelings, and multiple traits. Flat characters are the opposite. They are often one-dimensional characters who typically lack emotional depth. We know some of their traits, but we probably don't understand why they are the way they are. Well, that's a lot of information we've just taken in. Let's recap. Remember, a character can be either a protagonist or an antagonist. As you read, ask yourself, is this the main character, or are they acting against the main character? Or is it neither? Try to determine if the character is dynamic or static. Ask yourself, did this
this character make an important change? If so, they're probably dynamic. If not, they're probably static. And lastly, think about whether the characters are round or flat. If the character is realistic and multi-layered, they are probably round. Whereas if they are one-dimensional, they are probably flat. Well, that's all. The next time you're reading a good book, think more deeply about the characters that you come across. Okay, so the main character of a story is, that's right, a protagonist. The person or character who goes against the main character is the antagonist. The character that it experiences change or learns a lesson throughout the story is a what character? A character who does not change throughout a story is a static, they're stuck. A character who shows realistic emotion and is well developed is a round character. A character who is one dimensional and shows no depth is a flat character. Name one protagonist in any story you have read or show you've watched. So think about that. Name one antagonist in a story, the bad guy. So protagonists, they're positive, they're the good guy. Antagonists, they're the bad guy. I'll show you've watched. And then hit submit, and then that's all you need.